the best for the Toyota Tacoma. I've had three, really four different sets, and these are the best. I'm gonna run through, tell you how the others did, and of course, I'm talking about tires. You know, the things that you ride around in, the things that can slip and slide and pop and all kinds of trouble. So anyway, I want to get on and talk about this today because it's a rainy, nasty day outside and it reminded me of some previous sets of tires that I've had that did not perform well in slick conditions. Didn't even have to be snow or ice or anything like that, just rain. The first aftermarket set that I went with were Nitto Ridge Gravelers. Love the look of the Nitto Ridge Gravelers and honestly, besides the KO2s, which we'll get to in a minute. They're probably the most popular set of tires that you can go with from a more aggressive aftermarket standpoint. As I mentioned, I love the looks of them. They looked aggressive on the truck, great tough tread pattern, but they were hard tires. And when you have hard tires, you don't get great traction in slick conditions because they're 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 firmer. They want to they want to just slide all over the place. And that's the way they were for me. I remember the first time I came home in rainy conditions, I lived in Columbus, Ohio. It was one of those deluges. Everything was sopping wet. Turned into my driveway and I had a, a tar asphalt driveway. And I always used to get on the gas, you know, cause I like to run up that driveway. It was about a quarter mile long or something like that. I, maybe not quite that long, but it was long. So I turned the corner and immediately as I just started to come out of the turn, I nailed the gas and it goes whoop, out of the back. And I'm like, holy goodness, uh, this isn't a good thing, right? And it was the tires. I had gone with Nitto Ridge Grapplers and they just did not do well in slick conditions. I think Nittos are more uh, set up for off-road use. You know, they're firmer, harder material. They can take the beating and the pounding of all the rocks and dirt and ruts and all that stuff that you get off-road. Not so good when you're on wet pavement anyway. Next up, I had uh, Duratrax. Those were probably the second best tire that I've ever had. There is a close second. I'll get to that one in a second. But they were great in both instances. I did a little bit of off-roading in them. And by off-roading, I simply mean I wasn't driving on pavement. I was primarily on grass, driving around a property, you know, loading up firewood, branches and stuff from chopping up trees. We had a big storm, again, back in Columbus, Ohio, and got hit by a microburst or straight line winds. Never did determine which one it was but it knocked down eight pretty decent sized trees on a property that we had. So I had to go out there with the chainsaw, which I used to kind of like to do, and chop up or cut up all that stuff. And then I used the truck to haul it, you know, back to a pile where I would burn. So anyway, they did well on the off-road kind of stuff, limited, granted. But on-road, they were really good as well. Stuck good to the pavement. Nice aggressive look, not as aggressive as what the Nitto Ridge Grapplers were as far as the appearance, the aesthetics of the tire goes, but much better on wet pavement. Next up, KO2s. I was never going to go with KO2s before because frankly, everybody goes with KO2s and it's been beaten to death. So. I wasn't gonna do it, but I decided I needed to try them for myself for just that reason, because everybody else has them. So I needed to find out for myself what they were like so I could speak halfway intelligently about them, right? So I picked up a set of KO2s. Now I'm in South Texas, right? Picked up a set of KO2s, put them on, pretty aggressive looking tire. Uh, I do have to say from an aesthetic standpoint, they're probably my least favorite. I'm not real hip on the way that they look, the design of them, and I know we're talking about tires here, right? But nonetheless, they each look a little bit different, and the KO2s to me look a little more squarish. I don't know how to describe it, but just not the best looking tire out there. Nothing wrong with them. And I will say they're probably tied for number two with the Duratrax 
for on-road performance. Maybe just slightly slicker, and I mean slightly. Like if you really get on the throttle in a turn and you're on wet pavement, or of course ice or snow, obviously, they would break free a little bit quicker than the Duratrax would. And I'm talking hardly anything, but they did, so it's worth mentioning. Um, off-road, I'm sure they're fantastic. I never had the opportunity to take those off-road, but they seem to, from appearance standpoint, and from everybody that has them, to be a pretty good off-road tire as well. So now we have to get to number one, the Falcon Wild Peaks. Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. They are a perfect mix, I think, of on-road and off-road tire. Now, I will say uh, they're not as aggressive uh, as the Nitto Ridge Grapplers or maybe the KO2s are when it comes to off-roading type stuff. You're probably going to get a little bit more grab, but they're certainly capable. On-road, which is where 95, 96% of the people that drive Tacomas and four-wheel drives are, uh, they are fantastic. In slick conditions like today, I don't have any slippage, I don't break loose, nothing crazy like that. It's kind of a drag if you're trying to do a burnout, you know? Uh, every once in a while, it, it's kind of fun to spin the tires, play around a little bit, and the Duratrax, they really want to grab, so they're not so apt to let you do that. Eh, nonetheless, they're doing what they're supposed to do, and that is gripping the road so that you can stay on the road, right? I've had, I think, three or four sets uh, of the Falcon Wild Peaks, both on Jeeps and Tacomas. My wife has them on her uh, Jeep Wrangler now. I've had them on a Jeep Gladiator, Jeep Wrangler. I have them on my Jeep Wrangler now. And of course, we're running them on the Toyota Tacoma. Best tire you can get out there. And another really nice thing about them, they're not gonna break the bank. They're not the most expensive tire out there. And I did hear a rumor, and this is a rumor, so if I'm wrong, you know, I heard a rumor recently that Falcon Wild Peaks are now the number one chosen tire for kind of a, a, a mix, an on-road, off-road type tire. And I believe it, given their performance, for me, I, I don't have any problems at all believing that and that they do a fantastic job. By the way, let me say, I am not sponsored by Falcon Wild Peaks or Falcon. You know, when you talk about things, when you have a channel and, and you tell people what you think and if you really like something, well, immediately people start accusing you of being paid. I'm not being paid. I wish they were paying me and I'm certainly open to it, especially since I like the tires anyway. But you know, full disclosure. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through those. I know there's a lot of choices out there and I get questions on the channel. You know, what's the best tire? What tires are you running? Falcon Wild Peaks, the number one in my opinion. Leave a comment, let me know. If you ever had Falcon Wild Peaks or any of the others, what did you think of them? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.